Good morning everyone. We're just having some coffee and tea and pastries before our breakfast. And you just notice it's exactly the same jams and butters we serve in our bed and breakfast. So that's nice. It means we got the standard right. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone's having a good morning. See you in a bit. Okay, we're doing the Bath Skyline Walk. But we're gonna walk to a few other places as well as that, because the Bath Skyline Walk is only a six mile circular walk so we're gonna have a little walk around other little gardens and things but like walking through here last night this was packed and now all quiet which is nice we've not actually got to our start turn point right yet because um, we keep finding these lovely little parks so we're stopping to have a look and it smells beautiful here lots of roses keep right to continue towards Sydney Road oh, ignore that yeah, look at this. It's a beautiful place. Just gonna have a little walk around the park and then get back onto our track. Sydney Gardens we're just walking through now and uh, come across another little canal. That noise there is they're putting up scaffolding. Scaffolding seems to be everywhere in Bath. Lots of works. But look at this. How beautiful. And people playing tennis over there. All rather delightful. We found our starting point, the Bath Skyline National Trust. And our starting point is up there. And that's a hill. But this is where we must start. It's quite a hill to get here, to be honest. But do you know what? When it's this pretty and the sun's out like this, you don't really mind. Considering we're supposed to have rain, and we're very fortunate with the weather. So up we go. Now at point number two, and guess what? We are still going up. <laughs> we had to go up to the end of that lane. Then we had to turn right, which was still going up a hill. And now we're going up here as well. So starting to get the old heart pumping, which is good. But even though we're in the sort of center of Bath, look how pretty it is right here. Yep. Creation at its best, very nice. So, they put a nice little seat here, just before number three. Oh wow, that view is quite amazing. I wonder if I can zoom in a bit for you. Seeing a lot of bath there. I've got the fields in the background as well. Oh. Have a little sit down and a drink, I think. Oh, very nice too. Oh. We get back on the track. We've just noticed you can have a look at this little old stone building here. Wow. And then by all accounts, you can carry on up and see a castle. And Sue loves castles, so we'll see if we can see one. And guess what? We're going up. <sighs> this is the old castle. Wow. It's quite amazing. And that's the view. Again, awesome. That's quite cool. And there's a golf course right behind it. <laughs> Very cool. We're now at Bath Skyline Point 3. And we're heading into the forest. We've got our golf course over on our right. And this is the way we're off to. And to be honest, I'm quite grateful for the shade. Because uh, it's a hot day. Look how beautiful this place is though. Don't know about you guys, but this is looking a bit Roman to me. Plenty of stones here. So I reckon this is an old Roman road. We are in Bath after all. So, yeah, bang to be. But look at where we are. Feels like we're just in the middle of nowhere. So pretty. 
So we've seen a hollowed out tree. So of course she's got to see if she can stand in it. And she has. Look at that, she fitted in it. I'm not going to try and get in it. But she has. It wouldn't be funny. <laughs> and we're still in the forest. And we're going up again. But it's a very beautiful place to walk. But wow, that looks steep. <laughs> Got to the top. We're now at number four. Left. And we are going up just slightly. But you do wonder how much more we can keep going up. I'm guessing still a fair bit. But we've got forest on this side, fields on that side, and a Roman road this way. As I say quite often, no walk is complete without cows. And we have quite a few of them. Didn't necessarily expect to see them in Bath, I don't know why. I suppose I didn't expect to see so much greenery. I mean, you wouldn't think we're on the edges of Bath now, would you? beautiful as you can see the weather is fantastic so we got across through this field now decided to just have a little sit down and have a look at the view sometimes you can be walking so much you don't stop to look around well Sue says she does I've got to watch where I'm walking because I'm very clumsy but this is an awesome view See fields for as far as the eye can see over there. Just goes on and on and on. Beautiful. Now a marker five. And this is taking us into back into woodland. What's it called, honey? Bath Hampton Woods. Woods we're going into. Very pretty. Still in the forest, but look at this stone here. Feels like Dartmoor more than Bath. Wow. Beautiful forest, everything's just glowing. We spotted some caves off the beaten track, so we're going to have a little look. Wow. Oh, that one shut off. Look at that. What does it say there? It's the old one. It's the old mine, but Greater horseshoe bats in there. In there so oh, wow. That's why. Very cool. And now at number six of the Bath skyline, and that's Sue going through the creaky gate. And now we're coming out from the forest into open fields. Oh, feel that sun. That's pretty. That is gorgeous. Sometimes you feel like you could be anywhere. Could be anywhere right now. Come back into woodland again. It's all very well signposted, all very well um, set up, so we can walk it very easily. A bit hilly, granted, but there we go. It's all right. Signs, skyline, this way. So it's all. I'm very impressed with it. Now at number seven, we had to pass quite across a busy road there to get to this bit. But now we're coming into this little field and pathway. Hopefully, it'll go a lot quieter now and be a lot prettier. And we have sheep in the field as well. Mm, very pretty. The animals always seem to like Sue. I bet you if I went over and petted them, they'd jump up. <laughs> we 
we've got fields on both sides now. Through there as well. Hmm, very nice. Number eight now, Woodland Play, that says. Woodland Play. So this is Claverton Down. And we're going back into Woodland. Oh, got a squirrel over there. Okay, let's keep going. We've come out of the forest. And these are our playing fields to our right. And we're on this little path. We've got forest on our left though, but Sue's saying, is it time for 12 these? Well, what's the time? 12, 11. Yeah, I reckon so. Time for 12s is. Found a field to sit in. As you know, I take walking very seriously. And therefore, you've got to have the right foods to fuel your body. Which is why I've chose the very healthy Space Raiders and a can of Coke. That way you're fueling your body properly for the, all the energy you need. And Sue's got even better. She's got a nice croissant from this morning's breakfast, packet crisp and a can of Coke. Properly fueled for the day. Number nine, there's only 10 to do. So we're nearly done. And as you can see, we've got another fantastic view. Now you think we'd be going that way, but we're not. We're going this way. That's the directions. <sighs> But we've had some fantastic views of Bath up here. Really has been amazing. We are going up. I feel a lot of this walk has been going up. Which is not bad, gets to heart pumping. But you do have to wonder at what point do you go down? Anyway, a few steps here. Not many, but a few. And we're back in the forest. Which is lovely. We are at number 10. But look how many different walks there are around here. There's loads. Could go that way. That's not the bath skyline. It's this way. So through here we go. And onwards. Looks a lovely lane down here. And fields on the left. We are definitely 100% going down. In fact, it's quite steep, steeper than it looks, and it's it's moist here, so we're slipping. That's my new word, moist. We're slipping over the stones and the mud a little bit. So I'm not really watching the camera at the moment, I'm just watching where I'm walking. But needless to say, we're going down. Now, I thought number 10 was our last one, but Sue's just told me there's 11. So, she lied to me. Just one more, not quite finished. And then we're going for a cup of tea in Jane Austen, is it? Jane Austen's tea room. Very nice too. Come on this field. And number 11. The last one. And we're still in the fields I think. But uh, wow. It's been a lovely walk. Nearly finished though. It's been a good walk. We're enjoying a walk in the countryside with blue sky and trees all around. There's nothing better than to have a little walk in a graveyard to pep up your spirits. So here we are, going through a graveyard. By all accounts, there are some people that have died here who are classed as notables. Well, I suppose it's who noticed them. But anyway, sadly, we're in a graveyard. Nice day though. Here we are, another stunning view of Bath. There's three huge cranes. A bit like London, just consistently building. But here we are in what appears to be the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? We've done it. The bus stop is the finishing point. Now the walk itself should be six miles, which it was, but we walked from our hotel, so it was eight miles altogether. But I think now we deserve a well-earned cup of tea Afternoon tea, maybe even a scone or a piece of cake. Who knows? God, I feel like getting one of those. But no, we're walking to town. Come up to the canal, but further up. How cool is that? Look at that, those people's 
gardens. And look at these French doors here. They open right up to the canal. I like that. Very smart. From a little walk into town this way. Why not, eh? We are in Jane Austen's tea room. And as she, oh, Regency tea room. And as you can see, we have the tea room to ourselves. There's Mr. Darcy. And we're debating on what delectables we might try. Tea. Maybe some tea. tea Mr. Maybe some scones. Maybe some cake. We're not sure yet. But we're being very lardy doll. <laughs> and this is our plates and cutlery. Very nice. There's our view from the window. Very, very nice. My coffee all done. But Sue's tea. You have to wait for the sand to empty, and then that will be when the her tea one. is at optimal. Oh, the grey one. The one. Five minutes for black tea. It's the perfect optimal timing. Very lardy dot here. My coffee's ready now, though. <laughs> when one's in a Jane Austen tea room, one has to order elegantly. So Sue's had toasted tea cakes with jam and butter. Very nice. And I've had lardy cake. <laughs> Not think it's that elegant, but I do like a lardy cake. Probably done about 10 miles. Back for a quick shower because Sue's already got another six or seven mile walk planned for this afternoon. So we're on our way back to just freshen up. <laughs> 